Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha and if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. Today is actually a video that's coming out late. It is a collab for the Dust, Collect Dust Collectors Get Ready With Me. Um, I personally found this collab through Paula from A Beauty Guru Made Me Do It and Verity from Red Dirt and Stardust last year and I really wanted to join in this year. Um, but come to find out I didn't realize this was a larger collab than I thought so also participating in this get ready with me collab is curly loves beauty and makeup teachers love our teacher loves beauty red dirt and stardust and a beauty guru made me do it and myself um so the objective of this get ready with me is to use products that you don't normally reach for um, eyeshadow palettes in general, I feel like I rotate through pretty well in my collection, so, um, I think I'm just going to pull whatever I kind of want to get a little more use out of. Um, so for this episode of the series, I guess, uh, I pull my Makeup Revolution Chilled Palette. This is what it looks like. I did Depot three shades in this because like they were very glittery and kind of glittery glittery formulas hurt my eyes so I just went ahead and decluttered those because I wasn't going to use them and I have pretty good progress on this palette in general despite my son trying to swatch them and destroying half of them but I'm going to go ahead and get started i'm using the clean slate um eyeshadow primer i believe i got this from shop miss a um it's a nice primer and i apologize for my weird makeup putting on light faces i'm going to try to fix this lighting real quick one second so i just attempted to fix the lighting i think i just made it worse because i think i broke this lamp here but hopefully it's not too bad of a lighting situation so clean my brushes last night so I'm happy to have clean brushes to work with today. So I'm going to just go in with the shade Relaxed. Or Relax. Yeah. Right there. And use that as my like setting shade for my eye primer. I really do wish this light would work now because I feel like this lighting's horrible. Hopefully I'll get it fixed before my next video. I will try. So now that that is primed, I think I'm gonna go in this shade in with this shade leaf and just pop that in my crease. Just to start building up a little bit of color. I haven't used this shade a ton. This is one of the shades in this palette that I do not have a handle on. And I can kind of tell why this one's not the greatest. Um color payoff wise which I'm very surprised because the shades in this palette are beautiful I will just have to build this up I guess so mm, that's a pretty good basic shape so I'm going to do that on the other side 
Okay, so now that I have that done, I think I'm gonna go in with this shade Plant. It's another shade in this palette that I don't have paint on. And I'm gonna deepen out my outer V area. I'm very happy with how this look is turning out. I think I'm going to add a little more on the side. And I'm trying to cut this video as short as possible. So I will be kind of talking about what I'm doing and then do some stuff off camera. Because I don't want this to be like an hour long video. Okay, so I really like how this basic shape is looking. I'm going to take um, a little more of this primer and go in the shade Haze, it's this almost golden uh, shimmer shade. The shimmers in this palette, except for the three like real glittery ones that I d depotted and decluttered, um, I feel they're like more of a gelée formula. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correct, so don't come for me. Um, but they're not like typical mm, they're not like typical uh shimmers i don't know if that makes any sense but i hope it does uh, i don't know why i was gonna apply this with a brush but oh Sorry, I don't know what's going on with my camera today, so let me try to fix that too. Okay, I do apologize for all the technical difficulties. We're still in the process of moving. We actually have a moving date now. So when we do move, I won't have all of these issues. So just bear with me for the next few weeks. And I promise it'll be better. It will be better. So I'm just going in with haze and just popping that on my actual lid. And to be honest, I don't know if I like the gold. So I might try to go in with dope and see if I like that a little bit better. Yeah, I like dope a little bit better. It's more of a deeper mossy green, which I just think helps play on the greens that I already have down. Yeah. I will probably do our haze on the other side just to kind of make it even, I guess, because it does have a little bit of the gold Shining through a bit. So then, I don't know. A lot of the times I just use my fingers quite a bit for eyeshadow. Even though I have a ton of brushes. Um, just what I prefer. Okay, I really like how that's looking. Hopefully, I can get this lamp fixed so I can show you the final look. Um, but yeah, I'm going to clean up my eyes. And then I'm going to go in with getting my base down. I'm going to use this depotted foundation. It's a couple different foundations I just kind of poured together. Um, one of them was my tinted moisturizer um did not like how that worked on me so i'm going to just try to use all these up and all of that so give me just a second i'm going to apply my foundation and prime my face and i'll be right back 
Okay, so that's with my foundation on. I did get this light working again, so hopefully that helps some. Um, I'm going to go in with my Always Cherry Peach Infused Shimmer Blush from e.l.f. I think I've maybe used this a few times. <laughs> I have so many, so many blushes in my collection that it's, I do feel like blush and highlight, I have a hard time rotating through. Um, I just like to try to use them up and I need to be more realistic about it. This has a lot of like kick up, which I don't really care for. And that might also be why I've only used it a few times. Hopefully I don't look crazy. <laughs> but we just got to trust the process. Let's see this mirror here. And me personally, I always apply blush on my temples. I don't know if I've ever shared on my channel why I do that. Um, so if I have, I do apologize for sharing this again, but just a little fun fact. Um, when I was growing up, my sister was really the one that was super into makeup. She would do my makeup. I was like her little dress up doll, to be completely honest. And it got to a point that I would get my nails done with my mom and my sister and my grandmother. And one of the ladies, um, I'm not exactly sure what Asian country she was from, but I remember her telling my sister to put blush on her temples and on the tip of her nose. Um, so that is just something that's always stuck with me. Um, my sister does it. I do it. Just one of those things. Um, I'm going in with my highlight from Dandelion Co. This was the jack-o'-lantern one from last year's, uh, Halloween collection. Very pretty. Very orange. So a little does go a long way. But... Look how pretty that is. I don't care how bad my lighting is right now. Like, you can see how pretty that blood, that, that highlight is. Sorry, I don't mean to be blocking the camera. So I do move the tip of my nose, down my nose, a little there, and then I always go up here with it a little bit, and done. So now I'm gonna finish up my eyes. I'm just going to take mm, probably this shade natural here. It's another green shade. I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. I think that looks real pretty. And then I'm going to take, I think now I can probably take Haze, and I'll use Haze as it in our corner highlight. <laughs> I apologize if you hear my sons watching whatever movie they're watching that they've watched a million times already, but I can't even think of the name of it, but it's on Netflix. And it's about like that monkey. It's not even a monkey, it's some sort of monkey. Lemur or something. And he has to get this music sheet to this woman in Miami after his owner dies. It's a really good movie.
can't think of the name of it. So I'm no help. But yeah, it's pretty good. For lips, I have quite a few options. Why am I jumping to lips? I haven't even finished my eyes. <laughs> um, let's see, where are my eyes stuff? So brows, I'm going in with my Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencil. This one is in medium brown. I do feel like this one's a little darker than any of the other medium brown ones I use. I don't know. So this probably won't be a repurchase after I finish it up. So I'm just going to define my brows a little bit. Uh, my brows are always very, very light at the ends. As you can see here, um, a lot of people think I shave my eyebrow tails. I promise I don't. They just are very thin. Um, they've always been that way. And for the longest time, I didn't want to start making YouTube videos because, or even posting on Instagram. So it really took a lot of confidence for me to actually start doing this. Um, because of my eyebrows, because of my eczema. But the community, the friends I've made in the community, the beauty community, the painting community, have all been super nice. And so when I do get unwanted comments about certain things, it's very easy to kind of brush off. So I appreciate that. I appreciate your support. I cannot find my eyeliner, so just give me a second while I get that. We're going in with Old Reliable. This is the e.l.f. No Budge Retractable Eyeliner in Black. I use this every day. This is a constant repurchase. If you can't tell, it's been a while since I actually used a reverse camera um, for my makeup, so it's a little difficult. <laughs> Normally, I typically film on my phone. But my phone isn't wanting to hold any more space, so... I'm making it work. That's all we can do, right? So, and then I'm going in with my e.l.f. mascara. This is the Waterproof Length and Volume Mascara. I don't know if this is my favorite. It's definitely not, but it's mascara and I'll use it up. I have a sample already of a different mascara that will replace this as soon as this meets it's in. I will say mascara is one of those things that I will try to replace every like three to four months. Or if it dries out a lot sooner than that. Or if I'm having a really bad allergy flare-up, um, I'll tend to switch out my mascara a little bit sooner as well. Because it helps. It helps me at least. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So my eyes are finished. So now I can move on to lips. Um, as I was saying, I have a few options for lips. Um, I will probably go in with my go-to lip color right now. A lot of my lipsticks I have already packed away at the new house. So I don't have access to them. 
Um, so this one is a Sephora lipstick. This is in the shade Festive. This is a My Lips But Better color, to be honest. Um, so I'm just going to go with that. Um, so then I'm going to go in with the LCB lip gloss in the shade Dream Pop. This actually, I don't know why I recently got our Ipsy bag, but I did. So I'm just going to go and put this on top to give it a little extra. And that is my final look. Um, I really had a lot of fun participating in this collab. Um, I'm not sure if everyone's going to be doing it for the remainder of 2022. I hope so. Um, if not, I might do it personally just to kind of rotate through my collection a little bit more. Um, but this is my final look. I will have everyone linked in the description box with their videos, so please go check them out. Um, a wonderful group of people. And again, thank you so much for your support. Uh, it means a lot. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help out my channel. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.